the writers of Middle English period, that means medieval period, often used classical words just to use as a model for their writing. In 14th century, Petrarch used to follow the classical literature and with him, with Petrarch, other authors followed classical literature and writing style as a model like epic, satire, ode, elegy, tragedy, comedy from ancient literature and published and wrote in Latin language and after that in other languages as well. That means regional or country language. In 16th century, it has been noticed that the unities of time, place and action in drama came in England, although the influence of neoclassicism was less up to the last quarter of 17th century. Johnson was following the classical rule. We have got John Dryden's All for Love here. Addison's Cato, C-A-T-O, came in 1713 as a good neoclassical writing. Although Addison's Cato was the perfect neoclassical tragedy, the trend did not last long. Neoclassicism started slightly from the later period of mid-English period, that means medieval period, and before 19th century, that means the late 18th century, English literature began to follow another style that means started to change from the previous style and started not to imitate the antique fashion or the style of neoclassicism. The late 17th and 18th centuries are called neoclassicism in England. The early 19th century, that means the romantic movement was against classicism. As a model, neoclassical writers imitated the world classics. That means world's classics or classics of the world has been followed or imitated by the neoclassical writer like poetry, genre, fiction, biography, autobiography, history and letters as well. The antique or the classics imitated during neoclassicism. Many thanks everyone for listening. I hope you will be able to write something about neoclassicism. Take care everybody, stay tuned.